So I don't do a whole lot of shout outs to different companies or, or whatnot because they don't give me, I don't get any endorsements from them, right? But there's a, a place that I absolutely love at the Mall of America. That's a plug, all right? Um, and it's, it's Nordstrom's Rack. Um, I, I'm a shoe dude. I don't know if you, I, I like shoes. Shoes are like, I don't know, I think they make shoes and belts. Shoes and belts make an outfit. It, it doesn't matter. If you got nice shoes and a good belt, you got an outfit. So, uh, so I'm at Nordstrom's Rack and I'm in the shoe aisle and um, they have, their, their shoe aisles are amazing because it's like the matrix. So you, you stand in the aisle and there's just like rows of shoes everywhere. <laughs> love, love the shoe aisle. So I'm standing in the shoe aisle and I'm, I'm trying to, you know, find the, the, the perfect shoe. I'm in, I'm hunting for big game, right? So I'm in the shoe aisle and in the next aisle, I hear um, a bunch of teenagers, and they're using the N word. They're referring to each other in 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 a uh, 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 using the N word, right? Now, the N word is very confusing for white people because they're like, "Why is it bad for me to say, but black people call themselves that all the time?" Well, let me just tell you, not all black people call themselves that, and you still can't say it. I mean, like, there are things that you, you know, somebody, you can talk about your mama, and you can talk about your cousin, but nobody else can talk about your cousin and your mama, right? But we'll get back to the, the N-word later in the story. But at any rate, so, um, so the kids were um, calling each other the N-word back and forth, and, and um, you know, what's up, man? And, and hey, man, and I'm, man. you know, they, like that, right? Um, so much so that, like, they weren't catching a breath in between using the N word. So, as a, as a, a stand up member of the community, a, a diversity trainer, a, a person out, you know, to, to make sure that our young people are engaged in positive activity, I said to myself, if they say it one more time, I will say something. Yeah. So guess what happened? They said it one more time. Now, I don't know about you, but I personally am not afraid of, of, of kids, right? Because I can... <clears throat> um, but I, I do have a respect for young people, and I know sometimes they can get, get out of hand, right? So I try to interact with everyone that I interact with in, in very positive ways. And so I, um, you know, kind of garnered up my, my courage. And uh, because I said I was going to walk over there, I decided to, to follow through. Because some of y'all don't, don't be following through, right? So, um, so I decided to follow through. So I walk over there and I, I, I kind of stand o over there and I say, uh, excuse me, um, would you guys mind not using the N-word? And they like, stop. Like, just stop. And one of the bigger boys of, of the group kind of parts, parts the, the group and he comes face to face with me. And, and so I kind of puff my chest a little bit and he puffs his chest a little bit. And then, you know, I kind of lift my chin and he kind of lifts his chin. And, you know, I, uh, I kind of brace myself and uh, he, he kind of, you know, leans in a little bit because he was a little taller than I was. And, um, you know, I used to wrestle in high school, so I know how to, you know, and I, I did uh, restraints when I worked at a residential treatment center. So, I, you know, I know what to do, right? So I'm, I'm ready. And uh, he looks over at me, and um, he kind of clears his throat. <clears throat> and he looks down at me, and he says, yes, sir. Not quite what I was expecting. So he says, yes, sir, and he turns back around. So inside, I mean, outside, I, I, I'm cool and collective. I'm like, all right, thank you. All right, good, good. You know, on the inside, I'm like, wow, <laughs> we made a difference, right? Um, and what do you think that was about? What, what was going on there? I mean, you know, th these are kids that, that folks would label thugs or gangsters or or be afraid of and what did I do with those kids well it was it's been, been made very clear to me that everybody needs direction and everybody has goals and desires at the same time everybody wants to be accountable to somebody for something 
Will those kids go off and, and use the N-word in, in, in public and with each other? Probably. Will those kids think about their behavior out in public? More than likely they will. Did I change the world? No, I didn't change the world. However, what I did do was make them accountable for being a part of a community. You know, I hear people say, well, we got to take back our communities and we got to do this to our communities and, and snatch this back from other folks. No, all we really have to do is have standards in our community. We have to stand up and say, these are things that are not acceptable and these are things that are acceptable and we can be in this together. Could I have preached to those kids? Yeah, I could have preached to them. That word is a bad word. Don't use that word, blah, blah, blah. But no, I didn't choose to go that route. Because, you know, free speech, so forth and so on. But what I did say to them was that I have some standards and, you know, I, I, I respect you. And I want you to respect me too. So what is it that you stand for? This is Andre Cohen. Until next time.